Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a list of my top favorite horror sequels. Now as you guys know in my last video, I did a list of my top 10 favorite movie sequels. Well now I wanted to do a top 10 of favorite horror sequels. The only thing was is that it was really, really hard for me to narrow it down to just 10 movies. So instead of doing a top 10, I'm just going to be doing just the top favorite ones. Um, I got 15 movies that I want to talk about, and these are truly my favorite sequels. You know, these are the ones that I feel lived up or were close to having the same, um, I guess, impact as the first one. You know, some of these I think are going to be on a lot of people's lists, while as others might, you know... So you guys might be surprised on some of the other uh, films that I picked. Um, uh, before I go into this, however, I do want to add one sequel to my top ten uh, movie sequels that I was that I for some reason did not put in my last video, and that movie is Terminator 2. Now, when I was younger, I saw the first two Terminator movies, and I loved them both, but I was absolutely blown away with Terminator 2. Um, I thought that the special effects were, at that point, some of the greatest that I've ever seen. And I think that the special effects still lived up. You know, of course, uh, you know, the liquid metal in that film. I also really like the characters in that one. Um, you have, uh, you know, Edward Furlong playing John Connor. And, uh, uh, of course, Linda Hamilton is coming back. And, and uh, Sarah in the, in, the, in the second one. And I thought it was just a... Uh, an absolutely amazing sequel and probably one of the best action movies I've ever seen. It's definitely in my top 10 action films and um, yeah I think it's one that everyone can agree is an amazing sequel. So yeah Terminator 2 is, is one movie that I wish I had to put in my top favorite movie sequels. I don't know how I forgot it but I did and now I thought I would you know uh, mention it in this video. But now I'm going to go ahead and get right into my top 10 favorite horror movie sequels. So, the first one I'm going to talk about, um, I'm not going to talk about this movie a lot because, because I've already done a review for it, but when I was younger I saw both this one and the original, and I can honestly say I think that this one scared me more when I was younger, but it's Amityville 2, The Possession, and this one, um, I think people, I think uh, a lot of people enjoy this one because there's a lot more stuff going on. Um, it supposedly is more related to the true story behind the Amityville Horror. If you are if you know about um, the story that inspired the first film and the book, this one kind of follows the original story or the true story, but, you know, of course, then it sort of goes, you know, out there and stuff. But, um, like I said, I've done a review for this one, so I'm not going to get into it. But this is definitely one of the best uh, horror sequels, in my opinion. It really lives up to the original, and I always enjoy watching this one as well as the original, but yeah, so there you go, that's Amityville 2. Next one is another movie that I've talked about so much, and I'm not even going to get into it, but um, it's basically the sequel to the first horror movie I saw. If you guys uh, have been subscribed to my channel, you guys know what movie I'm talking about. Child's Play 2. Now, this is an absolute great sequel. I've heard... Um, you know, everybody that enjoys the Child's Play movies, a lot of people agree that this is the best sequel. Um, there's some really, really great kills in it, and a lot of really good scenes. Um, especially, um, probably my favorite scene is at the end when Andy gets lost in that giant uh, Good Guy Dolls toy factory, and there's these just dolls everywhere, and he's running around trying to escape from Chucky. That's always been a, yeah, probably one of the best moments in the entire series. So Child's Play 2 is definitely in my, is definitely in my top favorite horror sequels. Oh, and by the way, just letting you guys know, these movies are in, in no particular order, except for maybe the last five. You know, it's kind of hard to put these movies in, in any particular order because I enjoy them all so much. But, um, yeah. Alright, so um, now this next one is one movie that I don't really get heard uh, talked a lot about. The first one is actually a big hit. It's very, very popular. It comes on TV all the time. And I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it. But I don't think that a lot of people have seen this one. But it is Pet Cemetery 2. And, um, yeah, like I said, this is definitely one sequel I think that gets overlooked because of the popularity of the first movie. But this one, um, you have Edward Furlong. Um, this is a movie he did right after he did Terminator 2. And, um, his, and, um, yeah, his mother had, uh, recently died. His father is a film director, was was a film director, and his, no, no, not a, 
his mother, I can't, I can't really remember, his mother was an actress and she ends up dying. And so him and his father moved to this town, which is the same town that was in the first film. And he meets this, uh, meets this kid, uh, who gets bullied a lot and stuff. And it's, um, it, you know, it's a really, it's a decent sequel. It's really not a great movie at all. Yeah, or in any way, I'll, it's it's a pretty good one though. Um, but this one has a dog in it as opposed to the first one having a cat. But yeah, this is just an under an overlooked sequel in my opinion. Up next, we got one of the cheesiest movies in this list, uh, Leprechaun Two. Now I've heard that a lot of people say that they prefer this one over the first one. Um, I think because this one is not as cheesy as the first one, there's some gorier effects in this one, there's some uh, bloodier uh, deaths in this one. One of my favorite ones is this guy who, uh, I won't give away the character, but he ends up having a leprechaun trapped and he wishes, uh, he, he says, well, and he uh, wishes for uh, the leprechaun's pot of gold, or otherwise he's going to keep him trapped in this uh, iron uh, uh, chest or whatever that they have. Uh, and um, the lepre and he wishes for the pot of gold. And what the leprechaun does is that he makes the pot of gold come come out of the guy's stomach. And I always thought that that was a pretty pretty cool uh, death scene in the movie. Also, I really re I kind of uh, have a connection with this movie in a in a bit of a way because the main character of the movie his name is Cody, and in the movie his girlfriend's name is Bridget. And back when I was really young, my best friend's name was Bridget. And so I just always had that bit of a connection with the movie. And when I saw both the characters' names, I was like, oh. But yeah, Leprechaun 2, I think, is definitely the best of the Leprechaun sequels. And now we have one of my all-time favorite sequels. It's definitely my favorite sequel in the uh, in the whole series, A Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Um, I'm not going to get into it so much, but this is definitely one of my probably my favorite sequel in the Nightmare series. This one, a new nightmare. Um, you know, I love that they brought back Nancy and um, her dad, uh, John Saxon's character. I think that's his name. Yeah, and um, I really like if how all the kids in the movie they have they have their own flaws. Like you know, they have one. The nerdy kid is in the wheelchair, and then in their dreams, they bring their their, their flaws disappear, and they bring their strengths to them. Like the nerdy kid is like, you know, he's into weird. Uh, he's into like wizard stuff, and you know, playing Dungeons and Dragons. So in his dream, he is a wizard master. I always love that aspect in the movie, and I always love the fact they all come out and they sort of go out to fight Freddy and destroy him once and for all. This was meant to be the third and final film in the, in the series and I think that um, it really has that feel feeling. You know, you kind of do feel that this was meant to be the last one. But um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite sequel in the Nightmare series. Now up next, out of all the Puppet Master sequels, I would definitely have to say Puppet Master 2 is probably my favorite one. Um, I just always enjoyed this one. I also enjoy Puppet Master 3 and maybe 4 and I kind of enjoyed 5. I really like the characters in 4 and 5 but as far as um, you know the puppets in this one I loved Torch in Puppet Master 2. I thought it was a really really great puppet. You know he's got a flamethrower for a hand. So cool. And then and for Puppet Master 3, Six Shooter I mean he was probably one of the coolest puppets you know in my opinion. Um, next to the, um, I can't remember the electric guy who came in and I think four, four, I think it was four is when he came in. I cannot remember his name, but, um, yeah, Torch and Six Shooter are my, are probably two of the best, coolest puppets. And I remember Pub Master 2 just had some of the coolest death scenes in it. And, um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite ones. This one and the third one are my two favorites. Okay. Now up next, now I love most of the Friday the 13th films, but if I had to pick my favorite sequel, it would be the final chapter. Now I just love of how to, you know, they wanted to go in, they wanted to end the series. Of course they didn't, but I think that this would have been a great, just like Nightmare 3, this would have been a great ending to the series if they had have ended uh, the series with this one. I loved uh, Corey Feldman's character, he plays Tommy, the little kid that, you know, he loves horror movies and he has all the cool horror stuff in his room that he built himself. And I love how he, uh, I, I guess I won't give it away for those of you who have not seen it, but I love the ending 
I think everyone can agree that's probably one of the better endings in the series. But yeah, Friday 13th, the final chapter, definitely uh, one of my favorite ones. This one, part 7, part 6 and 7 and um, 8 are my favorite sequels. And part 3 as well. Now up next, um, I think that this, for an entire series, I think that a lot of the sequels in this one is a bit overlooked because the first one is so popular. But for the Children of the Corn series, I'd say Children of the Corn 2 has always been one of my favorite sequels. I did a review of it, so I won't get into it. But yeah, I just always love the characters of this one. I love the um, the older man, the um, sort of the Indian uh, man in this movie. Um, the kills in it were bloodier. Um, some of them were. And it just had more creative kills in it. And I think that it brought... I think that this one is what some people might have wanted the first one to be like. It had more kids going out and killing, you know, as opposed to the first one. It's got kids killing in the like, may, like maybe the first uh, couple minutes in the movie, and then the rest of the movie is is more of, you know, the the couple trying to escape. But this one has more uh, kids killing. So Ch Children of the Corn Two, it's a great sequel. Sorry. Now the rest of these sequels are ones that everybody knows about, so I'm not gonna talk. A lot about them. Um, the first one is Dawn of the Dead. You can't have a favorite horror uh, sequel list without this one. Um, one of the greatest zombie films of all time. It goes back and forth. Uh, some people prefer Dawn, some people prefer Day. I think that both of them are amazing movies, do not get me wrong, but I think I just enjoy Dawn of the Dead a bit more. Don't get me wrong, Day of the Dead is an amazing movie, but I do, uh, I think I prefer Dawn uh, as opposed to Day, but yeah, again, one of the greatest horror films of all time. Alright, now, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about these three in particular. Um, I decided to include my top, the my three favorite Halloween movies uh, in the series. Um, now, as you guys know, I love the entire Halloween franchise, and it's really hard for me to pick like my top favorite ones, but if I had to pick my top four sequels, it would be Halloween 2. Everyone knows, everyone agrees, one of the greatest horror sequels of all time. Um, of course, you know, it picks up right where the original came off. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis is great in it. Donald Pleasance comes back. And this, is, I think, is the one where he sort of becomes the hero, uh, the major hero. Um, you know, um, of course, the, the whole idea of the movie taking place in a... Uh, in the hospital, I think, is a very, very creepy aspect to it. I think it's a great setting for a horror movie. You know, and um, it's definitely one that everyone agrees is is probably the best, probably the best sequel in the series. It's not my favorite sequel, but it's probably the best overall, Halloween 2. And that's just like a popular opinion, you know. If you, agree, if you disagree with that, then that's fine. But next one, Halloween 3. I know a lot of people, they don't like this movie. But there's so many people out there that love this movie, and I really do enjoy it. Uh, as it's just a just a Halloween movie on its own, I I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite movies to watch. Just as you know, just as a Halloween movie, I love the whole concept of the the masks coming to life and killing the kids. I think that's a great uh, Halloween and horror concept. And of course, yeah, this the Silver Shamrock theme is annoying. I can't. Uh, you know, the only time I want to hear it is when I see it in this movie, and after that, I never want to hear it again. But it's, it's, I guess, goofy and amusing. But um, yeah, Halloween Three: Season of the Witch, another absolutely great sequel that has nothing to do with the rest of the series. And then Halloween Four, which without a doubt is my favorite sequel in the Halloween series. Now I know some people will say, well, Halloween Two is the best. I'm not saying it's not, but I'm saying Halloween 4 is my personal favorite. And the reason why is because the the video store that I used to have in my town, they only had some of the Halloween movies. They didn't have them all. They had the first Halloween, they had 4, H2O, and 3. And um, it wasn't until later when they started getting more tapes, and then they started getting more of the Halloween movies. So um, after I saw the first Halloween, the other sequel that they had there was Halloween 4. So I saw it back when I was very, very young, and I think it's one of the stronger sequels in the series. Um, of course, Daniel Harris is great in it. it. This is basically the movie that started her 
her career and the twist ending. You know, you can't go wrong with that twist ending. That's probably one of the best twist endings in a movie, but Halloween 4 is my favorite sequel. And one movie that I do not have in the Halloween series that I also love is H2O. I think everyone agrees that's one of the best sequels. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis comes back having a triumphant return. And um, I think it's one movie that if they had decided to end on H2O, I think a lot of fans would have been happy. But um, yeah, H2O, another one of the best ones. Alright. I'm just going to get grab these three. We only have three movies left. The next one is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Now this is like a love-hate movie for a lot of people. I love it. I think that it's completely different from the original. It's wall-to-wall -wall gore. Um, Dennis Hopper, you know, he comes back playing like, I think he's the sheriff. He comes back and he, um, you know, goes after Leatherface, you know, with the chainsaws. And I just love that whole concept of him coming down and chasing after Leatherface, you know, and, and trying to battle him. And of course, you know, you have a, uh, you know, Bill Mo Bill Mosley, he's in this one, and um, yeah, uh, what's her name? Carla, uh, yeah, yeah, Caroline Williams. You know, she plays the main woman in this one. Um, I know a lot of people are bothered by the whole Leatherface falling in love with her aspect. I thought that was kind of weird as well, but it doesn't take away the whole movie for me. So yeah, it's a great gory scene, great gory movie, but. It's one movie that it's either love or hate for a lot of people. Now the next one, Evil Dead 2. How could you not put Evil Dead 2 in a horror franchise, in a horror sequel video? Um, it's got a lot of great... I've talked about this movie so many times, so I'm not going to get into it. Um, I think I, even though I love Evil Dead, I find myself watching this one more because I just think that it's more goofier. There's some more gory uh, scenes. Well, not, there's not more gory scenes, but they're more fun, I must say. The first one is more of a straightforward horror film, in my opinion, whereas this one is when the horror comedy really comes in. And it's just a fun, you know, horror film. So Evil Dead 2, probably my, you know, my first or second favorite horror movie. This one and the next one I'm going to show are tied between my two favorite ones. And the other one I'm going to show which is one that's tied to Evil Dead 2 as my favorite horror sequel, is Phantasm 2. Um, I actually enjoyed all four Phantasm films, but this one is, a, is probably my favorite one. I know that they got a different kid to play Michael in this one, but I love the idea of him and Reggie going after the tall man with all their weapons, going back and trying to save him, and trying to figure out, you know, who the girl is in it. You know, how is she connected to the tall man? How is she connected to Michael? And um, it's just an all-around amazing sequel. Um, definitely my favorite ones in, in the entire series. There's also some really great gore in it as well. And it's definitely my... This one and Evil Dead 2 are my two favorite horror sequels. Well, that is it. That is my list for my top favorite horror sequels. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if, if you guys have any... Uh, what are, um, ugh, I cannot talk today. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on any of these sequels, definitely let me know down below. And definitely let me know what are your favorite horror sequels. Because I'd love to know, you know, which ones are your favorites. What, and if there are any great sequels that I did not talk about in this video, definitely let me know. There's also some movies that I did not list that I just didn't pick up, you know. But there's other great sequels like, of course, Hellbound Hellraiser 2 is another one of the best ones. You got Aliens. I would also maybe put, uh... Psycho 2 and 3 on this list. You know, there's so many other sequels that I just uh, wanted to put on this list, but I didn't want to make this a long video. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day. See you guys later.